The other day when I was reflecting on this speech and what I'd come here to say, I was asked the question, what are you most proud of in the last year? And I'll admit that I struggled. Uh, I struggled for two reasons. First, while I know we've delivered a great deal of value to the people of Chicago, we've begun to transform this office in new ways. We've generated more revenue, we've engaged communities, and really interacted with people in this city unlike ever before from this office. All of that is true. In large part, I feel like while it's true, it's something called just us doing our job. So while I believe we've set an unprecedented standard for this office, for our performance, and for public engagement and accountability, this should be the rule and not the exception. It shouldn't be something that we beat our chests about. It's something that we put our head down, put one foot in front of the other, and keep doing tomorrow and the next day. The second reason I struggled is because of the events of the last week. How hard it's been to watch the city that I love go through this challenging time. How hard it was to watch the killing of a 17-year-old Laquan McDonald. How hard it has been for me and the rest of Chicago not to let our anger and distrust lead to counterproductive actions. I struggled because I've been as disappointed in us as I have been proud. As elected leaders, civic leaders, community leaders, we still have so much more to do, and it's more important now than ever. We can no longer in ignore entire segments of our population and believe that it will lead to the best outcome of our city. It's not possible. Our fates are inextricably linked. Let me be clear. There is a broader impact on our local economy when we allow for disinvestment inequality, and violence to continue. It's all of our problem. It's not a black problem. It's not a Latino problem. It's not a white problem. It's not an affluent problem. It's every person in this room's problem. It impacts all of us greatly. Some personally, some individually, some with family members, but all of us who have a belief of a better city and a better Chicago, this matters to you. That young man's life matters. The 10 people who have been shot since the tape was released matters to you. It matters to our economy. It matters to your household. It matters to the future of your children and grandchildren. As taxpayers, we can no longer afford the high cost of injustice, disinvestment, and inequality, a cost that shows up in our jails, courtrooms, hospitals, public assistance programs, and even our morgue. The reality is, for too long, too much of this city and what it has to offer has been closed off to too many. And our job is to open the doors. Our job is to provide a seat at the table. Our job is to create that connection where people haven't historically had the access. And relative to the over $4 billion a year we spend on the criminal justice system and related activities, we spend a mere fraction of that on real community investment, on real opportunities in neighborhoods, investing in people and helping them thrive so that they can in fact be contributing members of our economy. Our single largest problem is where we invest our money and our belief that those investments in the long run are, are leading to the outcomes that we want to have. We have an expectation for outcomes. We're not putting our money where our mouth is. We have a belief that it's someone else's problem when it's really all of our problems. Each of our 77 neighborhoods has great potential, great entrepreneurs, great leaders, but they don't each have the same access to opportunity or to investment. It's time to invest in our Chicago. It's time for our banking partners to step up and talk about where they're investing their assets. It's time for our pension funds and others to invest in our city. It's time for more organizations to follow the lead of the Chicago Community Trust and invest in communities to help catalyze growth. And it's time for each and every one of us to ask ourselves, our teammates, our family members, our loved ones, how do we help people today? And then invest the time and energy it takes to make a difference. Because it will be a long time coming. But I can tell you, this return will be worth the investment. Thank you.